such a mild evening across our neighborhoods. But while warm and sunny, it is exceptionally dry and windy out. Conditions that allow a fire to start and thrive. With a lot of land for small rural fire departments to cover, we start this Friday in the Les Hills. High fire risk means a waiting game at the Lewis Township Volunteer Fire Department. I'm Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter Katrina Markle. I'm here because it's this department that is often called when there's a grass fire or a wildlands fire in the Les Hills. There's a burn ban in Pottawatomie County, but a neighbor didn't know that when he burned yard waste on Friday. A sheriff's deputy at the scene told me that's been happening quite a bit. People just don't know. Using a truck meant for grass fires, it didn't take long to extinguish. But on another dry, windy day, Chief Jake Hardiman was expecting something like this. Our alertness level goes up for sure. Captain Andy Diller says they get extra training for wildland fires. We work with Pot County Conservation up at Hitchcock Nature Center quite a bit, where they do an, a large amount of burning. This tanker carries 2,000 gallons of water. The department also has grass trucks. They used them this week to put out a grass fire along I-29, then helped a local farmer cool down his combine. For one of them to call us and say, hey, this thing's just getting hot, can you bring a truck down here and maybe we can you know, spray some water on it? That prevented probably a really big grass fire. Hardiman says farmers are often good partners in these conditions, calling before a combine sparks a fire or creating fire breaks when one does break out. He says some grass fires even happen because of a spark from semi-truck breaks. That's tough to prevent, so they appreciate help from watchful farmers and careful neighbors. In Lewis Township, I'm Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter Katrina Markle.